Alrighty. So, <coughs> basically, um, this is how this is how it works now. If you get VIP access, these crates right here that you can purchase with credits. You, just as an example, I'm going to purchase the cheapest one, which. Wow, the cheapest one is 20,000 credits. But... Yeah, this is how it works. You get one of these. God. Just waste 20,000 credits. Then you press Y to open it. And... You get some random shit. So these are mods, all right. Accepted all of those. Not worth twenty thousand credits in the least. Then you go here, okay. This right here, VIP rewards. These are the ones I just bought. These are VIP rewards. So in previous Forza games, being a VIP got you a permanent credit and XP boost just for being a VIP, like at all times for every race. Now, paying extra for the VIP status basically just gets you VIP versions of these cards. So how on this one, the double down, the green one, common, is a 20% credit boost and it only has one use. This one right here is another common one. Uh, this has three uses, which means per basically I can use it in three races and then it's done. This only has one use. This has five uses. That's it. I have five of them. Two of these, one of these, one of these. So, you know, instead of, for being a VIP, instead of, you know, purchasing a crate and getting one of these or something and having only a 30% credit boost for three races, I now have a 100% credit boost for five races. That's all. That's all. That's how it works now. They said that they were going to fix that and revert it back to the way it used to be. I I don't know if that was actually true. I just heard that. And they definitely haven't done it yet. So, I don't know. Uh, also, Forza Vista mode. I mean, I get it. There's a lot of cars in the game. But there's no more voiceover talking about the cars anymore. There's There's no more of that. There's no more Jeremy Clarkson or Richard Hammond or James May, which is a big part of the charm of the Auto Vista mode, which they introduced in Forza 4, which was awesome. Um, but you could still do all this stuff. It's pretty cool. That's more of a nitpick than anything else. Something I actually do like is... Well, let me see here. Yeah, they still have that kind of stuff. So, but, um, bam, you can get in the car, just like always, but something I've always liked about the auto vista mode is you can start the car, <laughs> awesome. And then, I believe... Can you not... Can you not have the... They don't have the option to do that anymore? You used to be able to, once you started the car, you used to be able to choose the option to test drive it. But it doesn't... Doesn't look like, uh. Let me 
probably close everything and see if it allows me to. No, only these three options. That's it. So you can't do that anymore. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so Forza Vista has been gimped. Um, let's see here. I really never do multiplayer in these games. But, uh, yeah, VIP status completely, completely gimped. Um, on top of the fact that this thing crashes on me an average of every 30 minutes, I mean, we'll see what happens here. We'll see how long it takes for this to crash, or if it does. There hasn't been an update since the last time I played it, but check this loading screen out right here, where I'm moving. That's loading. Starting the race is loading right now, but buying price crates is immediately available. Um, just a little extra jab. In previous games, when you go into these assists right here, you used to be able to, like this is how it would start, right? Like let's go to medium, the racing line, full racing line, braking only where it only tells you where to brake but it doesn't show other than that, or off. Uh, braking assist, on or off, or assisted. You can per turn ABS on or off, I always keep it on anyway. But even compared to assisted, on still gave you some credit bonus. Uh, having even just braking only gave you some kind of credit bonus. Uh, having simulation steering gave you some kind of credit bonus. Turning these things off, turning this to manual, uh, or even manual with clutch, turning this to simulation, turning rewind off, rewind, excuse me, off, um, that all gave you a bonus. But now, it doesn't do that. There's no reason for me not to drive with traction control, stability control, uh, you know, normal steering, ABS on, uh, you know, at least the braking line. There's, there's no reason to do anything other than whatever you want. There's no incentive for, like, newer players to make something more challenging for them and learn how to play the game better. There's none of that. Um... The only thing that gives you a bonus is driver tar difficulty. If it's average, new, inexperienced, and average give you nothing. Above average gives you 20, highly skilled gives you 40%, expert gives you 60, and pro gives you 80, unbeatable gives you 100%. I don't know, like, I, I'm never going to use expert, pro, or unbeatable. Maybe highly skilled after a little while. Right now I'm on above average just to get a 20%. Like... If this didn't give me a boost, I would just have it on average. <laughs> I just don't, you know... And this doesn't give you anything. If you limit aggression or if you turn that off, it doesn't give you a boost. There's no reason to do it. Why would you want the CPU to act like a douchebag? <laughs> Unless it's going to give you more credits for, for racing like that. I, I don't... <sighs> I don't know. But, um... Anyway, oh, there it is. So let's race. So the first time I turned this game on, I was halfway through setting my graphical settings and audio settings, and the game crashed. It was about 15 minutes into the game. Uh, and then I turned it back on. Um, Ooh, this game is like... It's stuttering now. Whoa. This is weird. It's like... Oh, man. Wow. This... Whoa. This game is... Not even performing properly right now. This is insane. I don't even 
understand what's happening. <laughs> this is nuts. I mean, I did the in-game benchmark on these settings right here, and it said that I was able to get 60 frames per second at 1080p. Let me turn everything down a little bit. Particle effects. Let's do what reflection. MSA times 4. Uh, we'll do... Function quality medium. Let's see what happens. Turn resolution scaling to 100%. And then. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and quit the race. Okay. Just in case I'm going to fully back out. Forgot what I was talking about entirely. Um, let's go back in here. Uh, let's, yeah, current car. <sighs> load, load, load. This is what I was talking about in my last video, where the loading times are just... Ugh. I thought I was about to... Seriously, I think it's, I think it's about to... Do its thing. This is just ridiculous. This is on an SSD, by the way. So, yeah. I don't know. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, good lord. This... <clears throat> no other Forza game has been like this. I don't understand... What the problem is. Oh, is it doing it again? It's still doing it. It's kind of... What is going on? Oh my god. It's still doing it. The game is still kind of stuttering a lot. I'll try to at least, oh Jesus, I'll try to at least get through this race. It's. It's stuttering and it's actually missing inputs. I, I, it wasn't even like this yesterday on the same fucking settings on the same goddamn computer. It was not like this yesterday. Granted, it hasn't crashed on me yet, but let's not hold our breath. Oh my god, it's missing my inputs. This is gonna be torture. Five laps. Uh, see? Mm. Really weird. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this for three more laps. Two and a half, even. 
Why? Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? I7. 7700. 3.8 gigahertz. Which is very modest. Extremely modest. But still. GTX 1060. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 at 2400 megahertz. And it's on an SSD. It's on an SSD. And everything is adequately cool. Everything's nice and chill. Yeah, I can't. I cannot do this anymore. I cannot do this anymore. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> I was just about to quit the game anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Well, that's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching.